So it occurs to me that um, with Vladimir Putin, uh, those oligarchs are there because um, he gave them those uh, opportunities. It, um, you know, they're his little miniature crime bosses. And uh, if he no longer, if they're if they've been cut off from all of that, what's to say one of them or a couple of them don't think they can do a better job at this than Putin is doing and decide, well, let's just get rid of him. Because who would he talk to right now? Only those people really closest to him. We see how paranoid he is. So, but before we get into that, let's have just a moment of meditation. all we need. So Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin, will the Russian military, I mean are there oligarchs that are military leaders too or will the military just decide, I mean they're, we're seeing interviews of uh, young uh, captured Russian soldiers who say hey we thought we were at a training exercise, you know, calling their, their moms, We let, uh, the Ukrainians uh, gave them that uh, opportunity. So Let's see, Vladimir Putin. So will the Russian military take him out? Or the oligarchs? Or a combination? Let's take a look. Okay, full Celtic. Well, we'll do a, a dyadic cross, six cards, and see what happens. So this will be one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, I think we'll just keep these uh, right here. See how that works out. So the signifier card will this, this tell us a story of will the Russian military or oligarchs take Putin out or maybe nobody and that's what the cards will show. So the signifier of this um, little read right here is the king of cups you know cups are emotion compassion you know very heartfelt situations very uh, really to the core of a person's being kind of stuff and this is the king of cups so this is a situation that's really digging at somebody is it um, just us in general is it on a personal level uh, Vladimir Putin is this some oligarch that feels like he can do a better job king of cups doesn't seem like it would be a military leader that's um, challenged by Princess of Cups. So the Princess of Cups would be like a, a, um, a page of cups. And again, we're still uh, loaded with emotion, but this is challenged by the Princess of Cups, by the Page of Cups, the King of Cups, challenged by the Princess. Well, you know what's happened? This can be another message uh, coming, another surprise, just another wave of an issue uh, for this King of Cups. Um, the base of this whole thing then is the Five of Swords, and it's called Defeat here. This is uh, uh, Abuse of Power. In the past, this reading, Valor. So this would be the Knight. Uh, no, this is, I'm sorry, 5, 6, 7. This is the Seven of Wands, and this is called Valor. So the Seven of Wands is really facing off all these issues that are coming at you at the same time. This doesn't look very good for Vladimir Putin. In the sky, this reading uh, is the Queen of Cups. Okay, will there be some sort of a compassion for him somehow? And then the likely outcome for this piece here is uh, uh, the Two, um, or the... Uh, the lovers, I should say. It's number two in this deck. It wouldn't usually be, oh no, the two of cups. Here are the two cups right here. So yeah, so this is finding a mate, finding a pair, finding a coupling or a union or, or agreement even uh, that uh, puts you off. So it looks like to me, uh, no, neither one are going to take him out. Really make a big difference. Thank you.